looking at some Roman ruins. Here in Amman, Jordan. Petra and Egypt to see the pyramids. We are excited. Let's get this. We've arrived in Jordan. We're about to go and get our hire car. Who's our driver? <laughs> Driving us. flight to Doha and then another two and a half hour flight to Amman and a drive through some crazy traffic we have finally arrived at our hotel the landmark and uh, we're gonna give you a room tour so this is obviously the front entrance into the bathroom there's a toilet and another toilet like a little bidet which is apparently my toilet Coming into the main bedroom, there's obviously a TV, little lounge area, and then it looks out onto essentially the city of Amman. So we've just arrived in Jordan and made our way to Amman Citadel, and uh, this is where essentially the Ro Roman ruins are. We're just here at the uh, one of the viewpoints at the Amman Citadel. You can see in the background there is up uh, towards the ruins. And then as I pan the camera around, you'll be able to see down towards the amphitheater. It can house 6,000 people and still conducts performances to this day.
come back from the Citadel and uh, had a nice refreshing shower and just having a cocktail on the rooftop bar of our hotel. A few moments later. Having a cocktail with chicken <laughs> You can see we're traveling now with our driver Kurt is taking us to Duresh. It's probably about an hour's drive outside of Amman city. We've got our way out of the main city area, but now we're heading down pretty much like a motorway. And the traffic was hectic. Kurt did a great job. Don't really see much right now. We're sort of heading out of the main road and um, the main city area. Stay tuned. There'll be more in a moment. <laughs> Here's the Pajero, and it's a beast. We've just arrived at Juresh. We've driven an hour north of Oman, and uh, this is one of the largest uh, Roman archaeological sites outside of Italy.
Here we are in Amman, just at the Roman Amphitheatre, which is in downtown Amman. Sharon chopping up a storm. We are walking to Rainbow Street, apparently, according to the map. We're walking up a massive flight of stairs. We've been walk, walked up a steep road. <laughs> um, hopefully we get there and it's uh, all that's expected to be because otherwise it would be quite disappointing if it wasn't. In a skirt. We, after walking up the hill, only to realise that the Rainbow Street is actually not up this way. We have started to walk back down but we decided to have a rest at a little cafe on top of a rooftop. I got myself a little mojito, which is non-alcoholic, and Sharon had a Red Bull. The Adventures of Brumley and Chickenhead. Some sort of beef I'm hoping it is with some hummus, some falafel, some veg uh, vegetables and then obviously the bread and Sharon's eaten away so it must be okay. <laughs> we just had dinner at the famous 